They come to us full of curiosity, inquisitive, creative, with a fresh point of view. We foster that spirit so when they're ready to enter the workforce, they'll have the talent and drive to come up with the most innovative solutions to tomorrow's challenges. But why wait until they grow up to innovate? 280,000 kids from over 60 countries building robots, learning about science and technology, and coming up with creative, exciting ideas, leading the way for the new generation of problem solvers all over the world. That's first. The reason first works is because we bring the tools, but the kids bring to it imagination. What can I do with these tools? First Lego League is first program targeted towards kids ages 9 through 16. In FLA it's much more fun because you learn it by yourself, not uh, they not force you to do it. More than 200,000 kids compete every year, building Lego-based robots as tools to troubleshoot and solve real-world issues. In the school you learn how to, how to do things, but in the FLA you really do things. Before I always used it like, oh let's invent this, and they invent that. Well, it's a lot more complicated than that. The FLL Global Innovation Award celebrates the awesome inventions first teams create as a result of their first LEGO League project research. It encourages kids to carry their ideas even further. Well, the Global Innovation Award is related to FLL because it shows how um, groups of kids can come together and create something brand new, which is basically what we do in competitions with the robot. The inaugural winner in 2011, the Flying Monkeys from Iowa, applied for a patent on their prosthetic hand device, an innovative solution designed to help four-year-old Danielle, who's missing most of her right hand, to write for the first time. The invention earned the Flying Monkeys a trip to Washington to participate in the White House Science Fair. And in the summer of 2012, they flew to Brazil to present at the Rio Plus 20 United Nations Conference. The 2012 competition focused on food safety, over 600,000 votes were cast for the 272 FLL teams who entered the 2012 Global Innovation Award. Four finalists were invited to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office for the gala award ceremony. There's a lot of twists and turns. You don't know what's going to happen next, but then as soon as you get the phone call that you're going into the finals, you know that your hard work paid off. And then for an entire minute, our team was silent. Which is a miracle. Really yeah. Is. Runners-up Matabot from New York City and Seven World Wonders from Israel each received $5,000 development grants from the XPRIZE Foundation. And we were kind of almost wishing that, like, our, ours will win so that we can help everyone. Both Louis Foreman and Edison Nation agreed they would like to work with both teams. Congratulations! Both Moderately Confused from Dublin, Ohio and SIS Robotic Revolution from Shelton, Connecticut each earned up to $250,000 in services and support from Edison Nation, the competition's go-to-market sponsor. I'm like, wow, who knew our, our small little project could have gone this far? It's, been, it's one of the best feelings you can ever have, knowing that you won and you can go on and do f things further. As Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. And what's amazing about these kids' inventions is that they approach innovation with no bias. They don't think about why things aren't going to work. They come full of hope. And what we need to do is really embrace that innovation and help them get those ideas to the marketplace. Yeah, think about this. I mean, really, the kids who have applied in the Global Innovation were 9 to 14 in the United States, 9 to 16 ages everywhere else in the world. I mean, kids coming up with these kind of fantastic ideas. Really very, very exciting. I encourage everyone out there to join first, join, join first if you like Legos, robotics, and definitely keep trying if, if you have a good idea. I'm sure you're going to see many of these great ideas in the market soon. In the years to come, First Lego League teams will continue to explore critical global issues. Teaming kids with great scientists and engineers is truly a way to combine imagination and knowledge in ways that will be ever more exciting. There is no limit to what these kids can imagine. One day we'll all be living better lives because this generation was not afraid to dream, to build, and to share their inventions with the world.